and of course a gate change. Hey there, welcome back. While you're watching a short time off video of the drive to Suganahata International Airport of Jakarta, which is located on the opposite side of the city compared to where I live, a short background for this video. To start with, yes, I'm allowed to travel. Regulations that only essential workers can fly have been lifted a while back. I did a PCR test some 18 hours before scheduled departure and received the results early the next morning, with enough time to spare. As they were only valid for two times 24 hours from taking the sample, at the time of shooting the video, I had to be on the plane again shortly after 1800 local time, at the very latest, to get home without the need for a new PCR test, which would have kept me in Surabaya for two nights, or one night and a lot of money out of pocket for a quick result. Should I fly? Yes. I want to see what the current situation is for domestic flights within the island of Java. With only very few flights operated, around 15% of pre-COVID numbers, there is something odd about flying right now. Regulations are that only at least partially vaccinated people are allowed to fly. And a recent PCR test is needed on, as well on top of this. So that usually narrows down those willing to fly at the moment. I deem this safe enough for me to give it a go. So let's jump to where I parked the car at the airport car park, right in front of the drop zone, because that's something that doesn't happen every day. Here we are from Sugarnahata International Airport here in Jakarta. It's virtually empty as expected. Let's see if I'm able to travel today. Current regulations tell me. Traveling is discouraged, not disallowed. You need a recent PCR test done a few days before travel. Slightly less because it's valid two times 24 hours. But again, the results isn't that fast. It took me 18 hours, and that's taken away from the total travel time you have. So you have either have to figure everything out properly or just not fly. And I, this test being quite expensive, it's probably what they want. Well, that's for sure what they want. It's only a few airlines flying. I think a few of them will still be cancelled though. And that's free vaccinations for travelers. Offered by Line Group. Not around the clock, but almost. That's also a requirement. You need to be partially, 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 whoop, partially vaccinated to travel. Still, like I was a few months ago. Terminal 2 F is closed for innovation. So, this airport is running at extreme low capacity. If I want to travel on this island, I need at least one vaccination and a negative PCR test for 24 hours. Sinovac vaccinations used by the National Vaccination Program that are free of charge for all Indonesians and residents are also distributed by airlines, universities, schools, manufacturing companies and such. It's apparently possible to have your tests loaded into the app. I have that app. I didn't have my test in the system. They weren't able to do that yet. So let's see what they make of it. Lagi. Just checking in like before the pandemic is not possible. There is a document pre-check before entering the check-in area. Then you were asked for your documents and proof of vaccination during the check-in again. Once in the boarding area, your boarding pass is matched with your vaccination status once again and marked for a valid PCR test. Oh yeah. Um, the app you copy, yeah? 
di app cukup ya kalau ada uh, ini. Gambarnya ya, atau ini cukup ya kodenya ya. Saya ada gambarnya sih. Ya. Saya juga ada kartunya sih. Kartu pelajar. Ini juga ada sih yang. Okay. Uh, ya. Surabaya. Masih. Yep, that works. And you have to use your online form to fill in your travel itinerary as well. Itinerary, itinerary, itinerary. Which I will do when I have my boarding pass. It's not as as quiet as I expected it to be. Still pretty crowded, if you ask me. Let's see how the flight looks later on. Less than two hours to go. Just sitting in the corner for a little while. I'm going to get some breakfast over there, over there, and then. Head to the main boarding area. That's a pretty long queue. That is a shitload of people in one boarding gate, if you ask me. That's pretty messy. What happened here? This single gate should be used for one or two departures, as is the normal operating procedure for this airport. Yes, even during the pandemic this is normal. But there were passengers for another flight here as well. They were sent to another gate, and eventually those heading for Surabaya were also sent to another gate. Just a quick check. That's a lot of passengers as well from this plane. And of course, a gate change. The airport looks really busy because of all the gated planes and crews here. But that is caused only by the fact that all activities of Terminal 2 are concentrated in just this area. Terminal 2 F is closed for renovation. On top of that, Terminal 1 in its entirety has been closed for renovations for over a year now. Terminal 3 just handles a number of international flights and those of Garuda Indonesia and CityLink. The in-flight entertainment is very standard. It works and there are some shows, a handful of videos, uh, but nothing really special. But since most flights are less than two hours, I don't really see the need for in-flight entertainment anyway. Also note the chapter named Lion Air Group History. That's actually quite funny. But I have seen these clips a few years before and they haven't been updated since as far as I can see. I hate games in the in-flight systems. They usually involve touching the screen repeatedly, thus most likely irritating or at least bothering the passenger in front of you. This is of course not applicable when flying business class, where the screens are actually attached to the cocoon of the seat in front of you, not the seat itself. A very basic flight map that you can't control is also available. 
The only apparent update was this long introduction to Super Air Jet, the millennial airline that has just launched. Space in economy class is sufficient. Hey, it's economy class. Don't expect the shit out of place. Unless you are at the emergency exit rows. But then your seat won't recline. So there's always a trade off. Let's walk to the seats at the back of the plane and have a quick peek now they are both empty. They are clean with no strange smells and amenities were complete as well. The flower is fake of course, as it's not a first class flight with Cathay Pacific or Singapore Airlines. The mm, meal was a little pre-packed bread and a small cup of water. You were not supposed to eat during the flight as emergency regulations state that no eating is allowed on flights shorter than two hours. Disembarking from the plane still goes very similar compared to pre-pandemic disembarking. No distancing. People still pushing around everywhere, trying to sneak past you to make sure they're off the plane a few seconds earlier and all that. See? Here we are again. Look, settled by the airport. Let's see if we can find a place to sit and we'll head out. And we'll, be, we'll be back here in a few hours. Let's have a look at the very few flights today. And we are back at the airport. Let's check in. Late in the afternoon. Two or three flights to go today. And then this airport will close. Citylink is one of them. Just checked in so everything will be okay. The flickering of certain lights here is terrible. I changed my settings after this clip. But then it showed some darker spots that weren't visible for the human eye. Oh well. I guess that has to do for now. We're boarding soon anyway. It's quite extreme now, I have to say. But... Oh, that's a lot of sunlight. That's how it is. During the travel limitations here. Let's head upstairs. Garuda in front, of course. First thing. And the other ones at the back. We're doing Citylink today. Asia isn't operating. And the other ones have only a few flights a day. So this airport should be pretty quiet. Looks even dark in the back. <laughs> so quiet. Everything down there is closed. Pull up the app with the vaccine. If they need it. I see. 
Ticket.com sponsoring. Thank you for the visibility in the Lee Shark, the Force Pound, the Force Airline, further flying by the Skytrack. Please sit back, relax, and have a pleasant flight. Thank you, stay safe, and have a good day. That's pretty full.